Hi you all, welcome back to E-Expressions. This is Adelia, of course. Um, thank y'all so much for tuning in to today's video. I'm going to update you all about everything that's been happening in my life. And I'm so excited because... Um, I always have these moments where I go on YouTube and then, you know, I'm making videos and then, you know, I kind of have like this pause. So I'm really excited. But before I talk to you all, I'm going to pray um, just because I really feel like this word is going to encourage a lot of people. So I really um, want the Holy Spirit to lead and guide me as I talk to you lovely, lovely people from across um, the world. So, yeah. Um, God, I thank you so much for this opportunity to just talk and to um, share my story and to update my subscribers about everything that um, has been happening in my life. Uh, won't you lead and guide me in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, so, uh, yeah. Life has been amazing. Life has been amazing because one, I'm back in school. I'm officially a sophomore A at Clark Atlanta University, so I'm back in school. School is really going good this semester. Um, school's really going good. I'm involved in different organizations, helping out in um, ministry and stuff like that. I do. Um, enjoy my classes so far i'm taking 15 credit hours so that's really good um especially with all the other stuff i'm doing i just can't take like 18 credits at the moment so 15 is really good i'm taking french I'm taking french this semester so that's really interesting because i've never like taken french before so that's good i'm really enjoying my um survey and news media class which is the class i just left which is the class that really inspired me to record this video we had a guest speaker um his name is i don't want to mess up his name so i'm going to leave it but he's um a black artist in atlanta and he does um black art he also has a business called um, YBN young okay I'm gonna leave his information below because I really don't want to mess up his stuff um, he has um, a lot going for himself um, he's black he's a man he's about 41 years old and he he came to my class before and he kind of just told us about himself and this time he came and him and my teacher Maynard Eden they did like this interview in class and we were the audience and Throughout the whole class, I was just about to cry because I've been trying to, like, pursue my dreams with YouTube and um, vlogging and stuff like that. And it's been so hard. It's been really hard from losing my memory card to not having the proper lighting to not having the most extravagant background. It, it's been very up and it's been very um, rocky and it's been a lot of ups and downs with this YouTube thing. Um, I started back in 2015, um, going into the new year. And you know, I remember recording my first video and just being so excited, being so ecstatic about it. And I recorded and I was like, yay, I'm finally doing it. Cause I, all my life, I told you guys, like I've been wanting to do this since I was a little girl. So I, I recorded, I was like, yay, you know. Um, and during that time I wasn't in school yet. So, um, I just didn't foresee like all the things I would have to do with classes and uh, ministry stuff and family stuff. I didn't like plan out my life, I guess, right in the sense. I didn't plan and, you know, factor in different things I would have to do. I was just like so zealous because I'm like this YouTube thing is what I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to um, be on here for like my entire life. And when I finally got that chance, I was so, so hyped and so passionate about it. And I still am, but, um, when difficulty and difficult, um, things and obstacles and stuff like that came up, I kind of got complacent with just, you know, taking long periods of time off of YouTube and not being consistent or just honestly not giving it my all and giving it my best and saying, you know what? If this is hard, I'm still going to pursue after it. I'm still going to do the best that I can. And um, I guess now I'm at a place where I'm just like, oh, Lord, I need your help. I need um, your strength because honestly, um, this is something in my heart. And it's hard when you have a dream, you have um, vision for your life, but it's like you don't necessarily feel like you're equipped to do it. You don't feel like you have the necessary things to get you where you're trying to be. I mean, you see all these different people and they have certain things. Um, and it's easy to allow like comparison to creep in and to compare your life 
to what other people have but you know I'm learning now to just honestly um use what God is already giving me <laughs> use what God has given me um and just use that so that he can bless what I'm doing because if I continue to focus on what I don't have and continue to compare my life to other YouTubers or um, just things that I see that I may want, I'm never going to get where I ultimately am supposed to be. Because I know it's God's will for me to do this. So, yeah, I just want to encourage y'all with that because it's something I, I've been struggling with. And I was holding back tears throughout the entire class because I'm like, God, like you know i need this stuff i seemingly need this stuff you know but i wasn't using the natural lighting that god has given me you know i was like you know what i just might not have a fancy background whatever it's cool as long as i'm getting god's message out that's my most important thing to do um through these videos is to get the word of god out um no matter you know how the video may look if the quality is low um god's word still will you know be brought forth uh by Leah Rooster so um to people who have like been following me on here I want to say sorry because I know that it can be hard when like you're in a sense looking forward to someone to do something or like for you're following a journey and it's kind of like hey what happened you know you kind of left us astray you know and I'm sorry for that I just want to let y'all know that this is a huge dream in my heart and um I definitely pray and believe God that he will, you know, provide the necessary things for me to continue to do these more consistently and to just really give this my all. Um, just to encourage y'all, like, if you if you have a dream, if you have a passion, if you have um, any kind of goal for yourself and it may be hard or you may feel like you're not equipped enough or you may feel like, oh my gosh, it's not happening the way I planned it, the way I saw it in my head, you know, um, just be encouraged and know that everything you need to reach that dream is inside of you. And I'm literally talking to myself, not just you all, but everything you need to reach that dream is inside of you. It's, a, it's, it's up to God, of course, to enable you to just really, um, be strong in the fact and knowing to know that to just really know that we have every need and we have everything we need to accomplish our dreams and a lot of times you may think that you know it's nothing wrong with having awesome lighting awesome backdrops all that stuff but if you're not you know using what you have then it's like how can you get what you really need because you're not even going to be satisfied with that once you get it so um i'm learning contentment and what i have you know what i'm saying um and i'm just believing that god will bless that and that god will really really honor the fact that i'm using what i have um try not to be a perfectionist because sometimes i want things to be perfect you know when you are starting something from scratch you want something to really stand out you want to set yourself apart from other people you want the best of the best and there's nothing wrong with that but I know for right now I have to use what God has given me so you know it will be a testimony when God blesses me with the lights and the backdrops and you know the mic and the sound all that extra stuff all that extra stuff it will be a testimony because y'all are saying this right now like I don't have um I guess all the fancy stuff right now but I'm just using what I have um so I really hope that um this is encouraging someone I just want to also encourage y'all to like don't allow doubt to creep in don't allow um discontentment to creep in and don't allow like just fear to creep in because i know i've allowed um discontentment to creep in a lot like i was very discontent with just doing this youtube thing and not having the 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 things and the fancy stuff and i was like I'm not going to record no more. I'm not going to do this until I get what I need, until I get the backdrop, until I get the lights. But, you know, a lot of people were telling me, like, Aaliyah, just use what you have. As long as you get in the video done, as long as you get in the message. I hope my friend Fanel told me that because I would, like, compare myself to what she had. She had all the lights and all the backdrops and all this stuff. And I would just be like, man, God, I want this. You know, I, I feel like I need this to help my, to make my YouTube prosper. And, you know, I don't know what Fanella had to go through to, to get that. You know what I'm saying? But she would always encourage me and always tell me to just use what I had. So I thank her, thank God for that. And just other people, um, who God would speak 
through to talk to me and to encourage me. I thank God for those moments. And, and today was like the icing on the cake. I woke up feeling like, wow, I, I woke up feeling great. Like I woke up, I did my, my usual, um, kind of fell asleep uh, during my prayer time. So I was like, dang, I really didn't get to soak in God's presence how I wanted to. But after that, I just proceeded to exercise and stuff like that. And I was like, God, I feel some kind of way in my heart right now. And I didn't know what I was feeling, but when I got to class, I felt it even more as our speaker was talking. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I'm not fulfilling God's purpose for my life in this period of time because of what I think and what I feel like I'm supposed to have to get to do God's will you know what I'm saying I was not I'm, I wasn't fully in God's will because I wasn't doing this you know I'm supposed to be recording videos like weekly like low-key daily to get where I need to be but because I was just so discontent and because I was just not seeing what God had already blessed me with I couldn't do it and so that's where I was just in a sense, um, feeling that, that, that emptiness in me because I knew that it was more that I had to offer. That I knew that was more that I had to give God. So, you know, don't allow um, God's will. Don't allow your purpose to just kind of be put on standby because of you. Sometimes we can think that, you know, oh, God's going to bless me. Blessings on the way, which they are. But at the same time, if you're not working with what you have, how can God bless that? You know, God blesses our faith. He's moved by our faith. I was watching Joel Osteen this morning and he was just saying, you know, God is moved by your faith. You know, what are you actually believing and really like thinking about and um, just really hoping for? You know, like, do you really believe God is going to do this? And I was just... You know, in this whole cycle, what was me? You know, I don't have this. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe, you know, it's going to take some time for it to happen. But, you know, I really feel like God is just urging me to work with what I have. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I was kind of discouraged, too, because I lost my memory card, which was like 128 gigabytes. And I'm like, it's so weird um, that that happened. Super demonic that that happened, actually. I don't even know why because it was in my camera but you know what i have a new memory card praise the lord i got a, a opportunity to buy a new one um this is my temporary one until i get another one so i'm thankful for that and i'm just grateful and i'm just going to use what i have to um get where i need to be so i just pray that this video encourages someone you guys do not do not sleep on your dreams just because you don't seemingly have everything you want at this time know that greater things are coming know that god has a plan for you know that um all things will work together for the good of those who love the lord um, know that he has a plan for you know that all things will just really work out in your favor know that the favor of the lord is upon your life and just be encouraged in that don't give up don't get discouraged um stop comparing your life to people and just continue to just go forth in greatness and by faith so love you all see y'all later and until next time y'all have a awesome awesome day